Hello. Good evening. Let's look at the market. Now, it looks like we're pretty much at the same spot we were at yesterday, and this is not good news. Believe it or not, this is not good news. Why? Because we're indecision, right? We're in indecision, and we don't know what we're going to do next. This is not where you want to be. You want to be making clear, decisive decision. We're basically still, I mean, we opened here, and we're down, right? This is not good. This is on the weekly. Let's take it to the daily to get a better view. So we've had some up, right? So we've had some up. So it's not not the worst thing in the world. But listen, we have clo we've closed. Oh, and look at this. Hold on one sec. This is some interesting volume here that we have, right? This volume is is high. It's higher than what we've had recently. It's not it's not like wild or anything, but it's a lot, right? Like yesterday, uh, day before yesterday's and and yesterday's volume was pretty high. This is good. Today's has not been very high at all. So there's some indecision. So we're making a little bit of a bump up. You know, we're kind of trying to recover a little bit. But, it, you know, it doesn't look it doesn't look like we have some clarity, right? It doesn't look like we have any clarity. Though this is the highest amount of volume we've seen in in months since December. When we saw this big, big downward. But I mean, like, that's obviously still not enough, right? Like it's you need even more than that to like really make a big dip, like make a big difference. Um, but I mean, like, this is something, right? It's nothing. It's not nothing. Uh, is it the bottom? No. Why? Because we're below the two, uh, 100 week. I, I know I'm being deterministic here, right? But when you're, when you're this far below the 100 week moving average, and we've covered videos, we were talking about it right here. Y you're headed. We're, fi we're about 50% 50 50 of the way here, right? We, uh, let's see how much further we got to go. I mean, like from here to here is a... 40% drop, and from here to where we are right now is a 12, and we went as low as about 17, right? So, you know, this is not like, yeah. So, you know, we're we're about a quarter of the way there. I think we're going to make it down here. It's just a matter of time, though, um, and we'll have to wait and see, but... I don't, I mean, don't, don't, don't put too much faith into this. This is not the time to, uh, you know, YOLO back in. This is not the time like this, like the markets are, are shaken, right? They're shaken and uh, investor sentiment is down. Like people are not going to YOLO their, I mean, it, like generally speaking, people are not going to even YOLO their money because they're too nervous, right? It's just things are too unstable. Things are too weird. And what they need to see is they need to see some, some stability. They need to see something that's, you know, um, that that's that's good news that that happens over some amount of time. But this is not reflected here, right? Where you're gonna find that is, uh, goddamn, Ada. Let's let's can we refresh this to see Nasdaq? You you want to see this in in the Nasdaq, right? Uh, let's go. Oh, there we go. This is the Nasdaq. So you want to see this in the Nasdaq. You want to see this see this in the broader market. See how interesting this is. This and Bitcoin almost like identical. That's so that's so wild, right? Because people consider these almost the same. So it's really wild. You need to see broader upheavals here, broader ups. But with the Fed continuing to increase the interest rate, you're not going to see that, right? You're not going to see it. It's going to continue to come down. And unless the Fed changes its mind next time around, which I doubt, right? Let's go see. When's the, when's the next Fed meeting? Next Fed meeting. Uh, change it back. Um, the Fed meeting calendars. <clears throat> March, May, June fourteenth and fifteenth is the next one, right? And uh, that and what's why is there an asterisk? Meetings associated with summary of economic projections. So, so what I think is going to happen now is it's so a hold on. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so what's, what, what I think is going to happen is, so we've had an increase here of, of 0.5. Here we're going to have another 0.5. And I don't know what's going to happen in July. I'm just not, it's unclear to me, obviously. Uh, but May, June, July. Oh, no, sorry. It's July. July is the next meeting. Boy. So if, yeah, because this is not actually a decision-making meeting. This is just like a, a, it's like a summary, essentially. We had one of these in March. Um 
So it's like it's it's January, February, March, April, May, June, May, June, July. I believe I believe that's the case. Yes. Um, so this plan for reducing the size of the Federal Reserve balance sheet is what's causing this market downturn and causing the DXY to continue to spike. Now, we, you know, DXY might be leveling off here. It's unclear, but uh, lots of people are saying that we're probably going up into that 108 region, right? 108 to 112, 112, which would be wild. That definitely means Bitcoin's going to go hit a new all-time low, right? Well, not an all-time low, but like a, a, a macro low, I mean, like a micro, like within this region, it's going to be a new low. Because right now we're at the summer lows effectively, like just about, I mean, we, we went down to the bottom of it. And I think we're going to head down lower. It's a big, it's not a big, I think though, it's, I'm, I'm not like, you know, I'm not uncertain about this. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that we're going to head, head to the 200 weeks. So I would wait, do not start buying yet. Um, futures look a little positive, like s small, like small positive though, not, not enthusiastically positive, just, just slightly positive. And I know the yield curve incur, um, you know, uh, inverted again. We we're just still above the 100 week, weirdly, with Ethereum. But look at all these things. Like this is not looking good. Uh, what I see happening in the coming weeks, is, or like literally, just straight down, pretty much. There's no reason for this to be up, right? We just need some negative news to come down to, and then we we get down here. And when we get down here, we're probably going to see a wick that comes down to here, right? Something like that. And then we will see a bounce. And then we might actually bounce off of this line, this 200 week for some time, and then finally make it up and out. But it's going to be, it's going to be a long run once we get down here. And th that also means it's the end of the cycle. Um, there is no way that we get down to this level and we uh, make it out unscathed. It's it just, it's the unfortunate case. Now let's, let me switch to weekly. Okay, there's weekly. And let's just, I mean, we've covered this so many times, but look, we're below the 100 week moving average, right? Whenever you get below the 100 week, you touch the 200 app, 200 week. Here again, you get below the 100 week. Okay, great. You're down to the 200. There's never been a time where you've been below the 100 week, 100 week, 200. Never been a time. Every single time you cross below the 100 week. Now, the, the, the data is not available, right? The data, we can't, we can't get the data. This is like the start of Bitcoin, basically. Um, but... Anytime you start, but uh, anytime you get below the 100 week moving average, you are heading towards the 200 week moving average. There is no question. There's no, there's no debate about it. Uh, though we can't be deterministic, and this is one of the problems with this, right? We, if we're all deterministic of things, then we start making up things, and it doesn't all make sense. Um, well, it's not that. It's just that the probability of things happening, you know, there is some some leeway here, right? There is a possibility that this doesn't actually occur. Uh, and, and that's, um, you know, it's just part of the deal. It's part of the game, right? And like, maybe, like, maybe we do actually bounce out, but I, it's highly unlikely, right? Highly, highly unlikely. I would not, I would not count on this. Like there was a scenario like this here in uh, 2013 where we had these, like, this double top thing. Like we went up and then like we, we went down and then we went back up again. But look at this. We, we crossed below the bull market support band, and barely too, right? Barely. And then we launched back up, right? Riding the bull market support band. We did not go below the 50 week. We did not go below the 200, right? So like anyone that says anything else is just like, you know, t telling you a story. This is, I mean, technically this is also a narrative, but I, I believe this narrative to be, to be much more accurate, right? Like we, we are, we've, we got rejected by the 50 week and now we're below and we're going down to the 200 week moving average. Um, I, I don't, really don't think there's much else to say here. Like this is pretty straightforward, right? This is this is this is the case, and we're gonna head down, and we're going to enjoy it because you hopefully have been uh, watching these streams, and uh, you understand that um, uh, you understand that. Uh, let, let me just see. I want to see if someone commented and if something I, I got something I have to respond to. Uh, okay, two comments. I hope these are not spam comments. Emma, I'll personally load some altcoins if BTC hits the 200 week moving weekly SMA soon. Just altcoins would go good. Yeah, that makes sense. I think we'll come down to the 200 week SMA over the weekend. I'm seeing lots of people saying that we're going to have a relief rally after hitting 30K, but I'm not sure of that. 
minor time frames are looking very bearish. Absolutely. Yeah, Emma, I agree with you. I think we are going to hit the 200 week SMA. Um, and uh, yeah, this is actually a great idea. I mean, like, it's not a bad idea uh, to, to accumulate some altcoins when we get down to this, these, um, these levels here. Um, because that's essentially the, the bottom, right? That's it. This is like the actual bottom. There's nothing. F I mean, well, there is It's 300 week moving average. But like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Like I, the likelihood of us getting there is probably not very high. So I would probably at, at this point, I would what am I going to what am I going to buy? Well, I have buy orders for Bitcoin and Bitcoin only right now. But really, I, I do want to maximize gains. So maybe something like an ETH, right, would be ideal. But ETH is very it's stuck in its place. And so you're buying ETH at about $100 each, which is, I mean, $1,000 each, which is really absurd, right? That's what a deal that would be. I would love to get that at about 1000 bucks each, 1000 bucks piece. So yeah, maybe it's ETH. Maybe that's my altcoin because I consider both ETH and Bitcoin to be like blue chips in that they're pretty solid, right? Um, the other coins are just like a little too meme for me, like a little too risky, even though, and I, I frequently argue with my friend that if you're like, I'm like 33 right now. If, um, if if you're if you're investing like a 50 year old, you're probably doing it wrong by just putting all your money in index funds, right? Um, because we can lose it all and then make it all again, though we don't want to. Um, which is why I stay away from anything aside from uh, from from Bitcoin and Ethereum. But in in these markets where it's uh, risk off and and the downside risk is so high. I would not touch any altcoins right now. And like you said, Emma, I would buy, start buying, if I was going to buy any altcoins, I'd start buying at the 200 week moving average. Which altcoins to buy? I don't know. But if you have any recommendations aside from the one that you mentioned last time, I'd love to hear it. I don't remember which one was it. It was GXE or something. I'm not sure. It looked terrible. It didn't look that great. But I, I'd be interested in see, hearing what your opinions on that one are. Um, aside from that, I think this is all I have to uh, have. Held for review, published. Okay, well, I, I'm not sure. Sorry. Oh, I responded. There we go. Uh, it was GTC. I know, but GTC looked terrible. GTC. Let's see. Yeah. Gitcoin. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I right, like this thing. Could do some massive, amazing things, I guess. I mean, like, wow, look at that. $3.30 to $20. 20 I mean, it seems like it's already had its best days, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, it seems like this is like a little bit of a pump. Nothing. I'm not sure though. Of course, I don't know. But um, yeah. Anyways, yeah. So I'll be like, I I probably wouldn't do GTC, but I would do probably maybe maybe and not even Ada. I don't like Ada. It's just like wow, look at that thing just flounder essentially, right? But like, there's some other point. I mean, really, I'm just probably gonna stick with Ethereum. I'm not, I can't pretend to be an expert. Um, because uh, like the multiples of of Bitcoin are probably not high enough, even at twenty k. Like I, I want like a that's a five x multiple up to um up to hundred k. But like you could probably get a ten x out of ETH if you you bought down here. I'd imagine for the next cycle. Anyways, these are just my thoughts for today. Emma, great speaking to you. Thank you for commenting, and I'm excited to hear what you have to say next. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.